All right, everybody, it's Todd, all things archery and shooting, and today we're going to do a little shooting. We're going to, I'm going to call this series, um, Aim Small, Hit Small. It's part of my, um, my bow archery series for my upcoming trip to Utah to hunt elk. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of, I'm going to bring a bunch of small game heads with me when I go to Utah. I've got a bunch of them right here. You've got, I got one which is a blunt, an 11 32nd, which is made out of 38 special case. I've got a steel blunt. And I also got what they call a hammerhead blunt. Okay. We're going to be shooting these targets we see listed here from large to small. We're going to start with the Coke can, then goes to the wiffle ball, then the lemon, the light bulb, the tangerine, the lime. We're going to go to the pill top. We're going to go with the bottle top. And the last thing I'm going to try to shoot is going to be this aspirin here. Okay. The reason I'm doing it is because they say, what time are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to. Um, teach myself how to aim small, hit small. I've been watching a series by Crockett Longbow on, on YouTube, and he has he, he's constantly showing how to aim small, hit small. So I'm trying to learn my, oh, there went my can. Let me fix that real quick. Windy, windy day. All right, here we go. So I'm trying now. I was also um, reading a book about um, the Witcher Archery made in 1870 by Maurice Thompson. And I know the days, Everyone talks about today how arrows and broadheads and points got to be perfect and within a certain amount of grain. Like you guys know, I build arrows. I keep within 20 grains of weight each arrow, and I try to keep the spine within five pounds. But I was reading The Witchery of Archery by Maurice Thompson, and also Saxon Pope put one out too, um, 1923, of the Book of Archery. And they all talk about how they made arrows out of just natural stuff out there, saplings, wood limbs. And they weren't all too concerned about perfect straightness or weightness or anything like that. And they all shot pretty well. So I've got a bunch of different size shafts here, different weights, different spines. So I'm going to see how that also compares if I could shoot with any kind of spine weight shaft and see how we shoot with them. So it should be an interesting video. So I'm going to try to do two parts there. I'm going to try to teach myself aim small, hit small, and try to prove or disprove where you got to have um, grain match, weight match shafts to be accurate in hunting with. Which, if you think about it, back in the day, the old English and the Indians and the old Welsh, they never cared about really too much about that. I mean, just recently I was watching a thing on Discovery Channel about a ship that was found off the coast of Italy um, in like 200 foot of water with perfectly preserved arrows and bow staffs and all the arrows, they, they were all English longbows. They all went from 110 pounds to 160 pounds and the arrows they found shafts, complete arrows, everything else. So all those shafts and arrows, they went from anywhere from 31 inches to 40 inches and in weights from 500 grains up to 1,200 grains, all in the same bundle with different points. So I don't think they really, and most of them weren't that straight. So I don't think they cared too much about straightness or grain weight or anything else. And I know in this day and era with the Olympic shooting and everything out there, it wants perfectly straight arrows and everything's got to be perfectly matched. But I don't think you really need that for hunting or field work. So we're going to test that theory here today. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna get started. These bugs don't get us first. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the Coke can first. We'll start small and work our way down, okay? Okay, we'll do the Coke can first. All right, here we go. I'm gonna step off 20 yards and take a shot at this Coke can.
All right, everybody, that was my video on aim small, hit small. I want to thank Crockett Longbow for giving me inspiration to shoot this. I've been watching his YouTube channel for some time now. The guy's amazing with a longbow. He's constantly shooting smaller objects. He takes one shot and knocks it out every time. So he's quite a bit better than me, but I'm working on that. So let's recap what we did here now. First off, we shot the can. First shot, it was done. Then we shot the wiffle ball, and that got done. Third shot was the lemon, that got hit. Okay. Fourth shot was a tangerine right through the middle. Fifth shot was the lime right through the middle. The sixth shot was the top of this cap. It's, it actually hit it and glanced and it bounced off of there, but did hit it though, so it's cracked the cap. And then the seventh and last shot, which I hope's on my slow mo video, I've been trying to do slow mo video out. That was the ash when I hit it the first time, okay? So the recap, it took a lime, it took everything, it took the, the can took one hit, wiffle ball took one hit, lemon took one hit, tangerine took one hit, the lime needed two hits, bottle cap needed four, and the ash when I got in one hit. Again, I apologize, I am so sweaty, I'm just dripping sweat here, guys. So anyway, so aim small, hit small. That is uh, what I was, I was trying to uh, accomplish here. And also, I think I proved that even though these are all different weight arrows and different sizes, you can see. I mean, all this stuff about having weight matched arrows and spine match and link match, maybe it's not as important like field archery or hunting as some people think it is. I understand like for Olympic archery where thousands of an inch can make a difference in your score, but for hunting or, or field shooting, I don't really see uh, what the difference is. You guys know I make arrows myself, so and I always try to keep within 20 grains of the other and spine weight when in five pounds. I'm still going to continue to do that because that's what people want me to build. But I think I sort of proved that it really don't matter about the arrow, it's the bow behind the bow that shoots it. So you can shoot, as long as your arrows are somewhat matched to the bow, you should be fine in shooting. So don't don't sweat too much on getting perfectly matched arrows and broadheads and everything else for your, for your field shooting. It's good idea to probably have but it's not something I don't think it's required like you want to make such a big deal of it nowadays oh your arrows got to be within 10 grains of each other or you got to be within five grains of your spy match for it to shoot accurately well as you can see I was shooting accurately with this jumbo set of mixed arrow weights and everything so maybe that has something to do with my shooting style or what or but it's just it was pretty interesting to watch that happen and like I said reading the book though which your archery by Morris Thompson and from 1873 he first published that book he using stuff from out in the woods he didn't care about weight match or straightness or nothing he, <coughs> he just basically took them skinned the branches and shot them so all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video click that like button and be sure to leave me a comment down below and also if you want to click that bell next to that uh, that like icon i can go ahead and notify my upcoming uh, videos and if you haven't subscribed yet please do i want to thank you guys for watching this has been an interesting video to do so i want to thank everybody for their support my channel is growing and stay tuned i've got a i've got my very first custom bow coming in well semi custom bow coming in first of the week it's going to be a two-piece long bow ordered and it's the most expensive bow I've ordered too so look for that in a review coming forward soon all right well it's been Todd with all things archery and shooting until next time ciao Oh, I gotta get rid of these bugs are driving me nuts. Bugs are driving me nuts. Ah.